is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look at crude oil. We were talking about it before we left. Uh, this is where the game's played, folks. This is Yankee Stadium, the bottom of the ninth, and batter up. You'll notice that it hit the 50% retracement uh, a couple days ago, rallied up to the 382, and now it's down at the 61% uh, retracement at 71.68. The low has been 71.59. I bought it at 71.68. I risked it 30 cents on that. So if it gets to 71.38, I'm history, and $30 goes into the old, uh, I guess it's called the revenue sharing thing at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. But I'm not going to risk more than 30 cents on that. This is a contract that's worth $7. $1,400. So that's what I'm watching. Now, we have a special request from our good friend Steve in Austin, Texas. Wanted to ask us about, guess what? Natural gas. And if anybody has any more natural gas than me, I don't know what I mean. Hold on one second here. I actually have two barbecues in my backyard, so that's how I know. All right, here's what we're looking at. We had the big three drive to a bottom down here at that 194. Okay, uh, we bought it. We ended up breaking even on that. Uh, there was a chance to buy it back on the first pullback. I was traveling at that time. You notice that we've completed a perfect ABCD here. Now, this has gone over two weeks, and we have really strong support. I haven't checked the market yet today. But there's strong support setting right there at that 61% retracement. And if that can hold, then we've got a chance for a much more selective market uh, to the upside uh, in the natural gas. Folks, natural gas over in Europe is so off the charts uh, for cost. It's just, uh, well, you, you just don't even want to don't even want to think about it. not only that but their doctors and nurses are on strike so if you're going to die you better die in transit because if you get there you're not going to get any help hard to believe that that happens okay what we're going to do now is we're going to take a trip over across the pond and we're going to take a look at first we're going to take a look at the FTSE this is the London market which is basically all foreign stocks, really, banks and pharmaceutical companies and things like that. But you can see the patterns are the same. Uh, this is a you know the big drop. We didn't draw in the ABCDs on the way up because it was too early in the morning. But you see, we had a perfect retracement up here at the top, and uh, we could easily break out to the upside. But we also had that same type of movement to the downside that we had here yesterday. So that told you whatever cycle that was in it was probably going to happen. And if we looked at it on the 60 minute, which has all the patterns drawn into us by our good friend, Mr. Alan Smith over there in the UK, you'll see that there is your 135 pattern. You can see that perfectly, the ABCDs all the way down. This is a, a butterfly bottom, as you can see right here. And you write up, you had several different ratios right in there. You had your 78% uh, from here and your 38% from there. And that's why you're starting to get sell-offs in some of these things. But it's still a bit early. But uh, we've got some pretty big movements going on as we go through uh, some of these charts uh, here today. Now, we want to do Germany next. And this will bring this up. Uh, hold on one second. This is the next one. When we get done with this, I want to do some foreign exchange stuff because that's where the game is played many times. You know, see the ABCD pattern right here, this beautiful Gartley pattern here. Then we had to move up, uh, perfect ABCD, and now we've rolled over for one day. But this has been a pretty substantially more bullish chart than the FTSE. And you notice we did go up and make new highs. Uh, during that run, and that that could easily mean that we could turn around and go even higher. So that's the main thing that we're trying to focus on as we're watching this here uh, today on the DAX. Now we need to move over and look at it on the hourly basis too, 
and you'll be able to see that you have some wild swings in the deck. These are the kind that probably drive our my good friend uh, Tom Hugard uh, over to the uh, funny farm. And because look at this, straight, you go straight down, straight up, straight down. Now, this is a perfect A, B, C, D, folks. This is what you live and breathe for. This is exactly what we're seeing in the crude oil right now. There's your A, B, C, D coming in. Then you have the huge rally up, the pull back down, the rally back up. This market looks like it's not done going up is what it looks like because it, it retraces it too quickly. So that doesn't mean the top can't come in in the next 20 minutes, but – it certainly come back too quickly. Look, it was supposed to go very strongly from here, which it did. But then you have the huge sell-off and then the rally back up. That's very difficult to trade when you have those wild swings like that. And that's why you have to use stop placement when you're playing with these, mark well, investing, intelligent risk exposure, as we like to call it, with these things. So that's the main thing that you're trying to realize that you've got to be able to come in and just realize that you don't know what's going to happen next and you don't need to know what's going to happen next. All you have to realize is that you have a limitation. If you ever like any of the Clint Eastwood movies, and I like all of them, especially Harry Callahan, the man has no limitations. And that's what you have to realize. You got to be the first mistake teaches the second mistake kills. And I always think of that when I put on a trade. Do you feel lucky today, punk? Well, do you? Well, that's what you have to realize. This is not, nothing to do with luck, folks. This has to do with trade preparation and responsibility for taking the trade. And when you're wrong, get the hell out of Dodge. That's all you got to do. That's the main thing. I wanted to bring this one chart again that our friend Jeff over in New Jersey brought to us because it looks like this is where we're headed in the the uh, we just made a new low here. We bought the uh, we brought uh, wheat today at uh, six eleven. We're risking ten cents on that, but there is a possibility of this larger. There's a three eight two here. This larger A B C D could be in this area. But what we're doing is we're focusing on this section right in here because this is right at the 78% level. So we're focusing around that level. That doesn't mean this can't make it, but this tells us that we do have a chance. Slight one, however it might it be, but uh, you know we'll have to wait and see. We did have, from yesterday, we rallied 25 cents, well, actually 16 cents, and then it gave it all back and, and dropped back again tonight. I haven't checked the prices recently to see uh, where it is, but it is below that right now. It's trading at... Uh, it's trading at 608, so that's another reason to think that it's uh, you know under a little bit of a pressure too. So that's uh, what's happening in the wheat. So that most probably is going to be a uh, well, we bought it at 6 uh, 611, and it's trading at 609. So it's not even close to the stop, but it's going to be closing here pretty soon, and then we have to wor worry about it. But that's what stops are for. You put them in, move to the next one. We've had some really good one, folks. This was a monster that we had last night. I wanted to explain this because when I send out the videos on this, some people, uh, they don't, especially new folks, the folks that have been with me for years, they know when I say buy the first 382 retracement here in bonds. Because this was a monster ABCD right here. Just wiped out all the people for the last two weeks and took out the low by two ticks and didn't go down. And then by the time I saw that, I said, uh-oh, buy the first 382. Look at that. A beautiful ABCD right here. A $2,000 move is still going up. So that's the kind you want to be looking at. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, 
dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF nn.com are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio tom o'brien is here to help tom o'brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to tv ameritrade network and cnbc tom o'brien founded tfnn over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I just checked, and uh, crude oil is now underwater by uh, $180. I bought it at 68 I just saw it at 50 so my stop is at 38 I'm leaving that in. I'm willing to risk $30, uh, 300 bucks to see if I'm right or not. Now, I don't like being wrong, but I'm wrong often, but never in doubt. So I put that stop in, and we're going to take a look at it uh, when it gets hit. They'll let me know. I'll hear the little beeper go off and not worry about it. But we've had a good day so far. Now, I posted the chart of the uh, wheat. Now, the reason why I do that is when I was in uh, Las Vegas, I focused. I had uh, a full house. I was very happy with the many people we did. Uh, they even gave me a standing ovation, which doesn't happen very often. Both people stood up and shook my hand now we had a nice crowd anyway uh this is what i wanted to talk to them about is i'm going to send them a b c d patterns i did it in the uh the apple when it was making the high I did it today uh in um microsoft and i did it today in wheat now today in wheat we were looking to buy it at 611 we got to 611 and we rallied up to 621 well at 621 I sent out another little chart saying we're going to move our stop to break even because that was just about the total amount of risk that we were going to take on the whole thing. So that's what I decided to do. I send out a little chart. I save them right here so that we can keep a record of what's going on and you'll be able to see it and get up here. Where are we, boys and girls? Here we go. And this is what I do when I do the day trading stuff. Yes, to see this stuff go through. and But anyway, there's where we had a nice rally. Got up here to 621. Now it's come down and it's made a new low. It's got as low as I think 608 or something like that, which is in the ballpark. Folks, do you realize in June of last year, you're talking nine months ago, wheat was trading for $13.40 a bushel. It was limit up bid. 
the whole world wanted the wheat because you know the Crimea was going to be toast. It was going to be a nuclear uh, settlement, and now we are less than half, a 50 percent haircut on on your uh, bagels and pasta and all the other stuff, and they can't even give it away at six dollars a bushel now. Something's wrong with this program, folks. I trade the charts. That's all I'm doing. But we're going to be paying attention to it more and more. My good friend Rich Anderson told me that it's, most of this is weather-related. The weather is fabulous all over the world for growing conditions. And the demand has slowed because China has stopped buying corn and a few things like that, pushing the prices even lower. But that's the way things go, you can't do too much uh, with that. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to. We're going to go on to another one here. I've already talked about what happened yesterday in the stock market with that ABCD pattern and things like that. But there were other things going on with that that were quite important. And I would bring a couple of these up here uh, to show you because we had, uh, when we do the weekly newsletter, we always put these in to, to let the folks know that we were looking at a potential uh, serious type pattern. And if you notice here uh, in the letter, uh, letter on Sunday, uh, we were talking about this very substantial uh, 135 pattern coming up in here. And we went right up to this, this line right here, folks, was the high. And then, of course, it's rolled over, uh, well, three, five, six, seven hundred 700 points uh, since that time. And if we ever get above this line again, look out. I'll go long because that means we're going to go a whole lot higher. But until that happens, it looks like that this has been a pretty good high uh, that came in yesterday. How, how long it's going to wait or to be that level, not quite sure. But you know what, folks? Nobody else does either. And that's the whole key. The main one is the fact that this one, and you can see what happened to the Russell today, but uh, Russell couldn't even rally on Monday with the rest of the things going. And now Russell is down, uh, just getting ready to take out new lows. We've already taken that low out. So it looks like we're going to go down. But look at this, folks. The Russell here, over a period of three and a half weeks, hit the exact 382 of this high way back here, hit it one, two, three times exactly, and couldn't get above it. This is when we're making new highs in the Dow Jones, new highs uh, in the uh, – NASDAQ and new highs in the S&P. So the Russell 2000, the smaller companies that have a hard time borrowing money when things are tough, they're having a rough time right now. And then we also showed that transportation index. That was another one. And I, I'm not repeating myself here for no reason at all because these are things that the market, if you're a technician, you're looking for things that are telltale signs that, hey, maybe there's something different about this. Maybe what they're telling us is not the way things are. But look at this. This is where they're moving goods and, and airlines and stuff like that. I mean, hello, operator. There's something wrong with this picture. That's all I was saying. And then when you get this beautiful uh, ABCD pattern that we had in the S&P with a three drive to a top pattern like we had in the, uh, the Dow Jones, it's telling you, yeah, take a little nibble at it. Now, what we had done, we had been shorting the Ed Russell at the 3A2 because you want to sell the weakest. Buy the strongest, sell the weakest. That's what you want to do. So those are the things that we're paying attention here today. So all I know is that uh, it's not about how much money you make, folks. It's about how much money you don't lose, and that's it. And it looks like my old crude oil came back and almost in profit now, which is, uh, which is actually pretty good. So let's move on here to the next one that we want to be watching Hold on one second, and that is this natural gas. I want to bring this up again for Steve because uh, I haven't updated it, and I want to do that before. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it because we've got Jeff coming on the line here a little bit. But between the time before Jeff comes on, I will update this natural gas to see how well we made this support in fact if we did because you can see we're right at the 382 today so if this was really good this thing took off but the way that we're looking with the other in, uh, parts of the energy complex my guess is that it doesn't look that good and so when I'm finished here with these next few uh, minutes and before Jeff gets on I will repost this uh, natural gas contract to see how it's uh, see how it's looking and uh, from then we're going to find out whether uh, 
it's going to hold up to these levels or not. But that's uh, what we're watching. So anyway, the stop on the uh, crude oil is uh, 71.38. Uh, last price I just checked, it was 71.60. Still only down $80, but that's better than being down 200. The stop is still there, 71.38. If you're going to come and get it, come and get it soon because I won't wait very long. We're going to take a break here. I think uh, we how much time we go. We got a whole minute left. We have a minute. Let's just do the old natural. Oh, we're going. Now we're starting to go down. This is not going to be long. And then in the. Uh, in the crude oil, folks, it just dropped. It just dropped 20 points. So let's get this up for the old natural gas, for our good friend Steve over there in Austin, Texas, at the Onion Creek Country Club. And uh, yep, uh, she's coming down pretty good, but she's still very, very close to the support. In fact, we are sitting on that support right now, almost. Holy moly, guacamole! Let me get this up here. God, even a blind, blind hog picks up a acorn every once in a while and this is certainly one of those uh, we'll get this window up here and you'll see this is what's happened we've come down and uh, we're almost at the 61 percent retracement which is right there it should have been put up a little bit more but the the uh, mouse slip but there's a 61 percent retracement right there and so we'll be paying attention but there's your abcd perfectly right on the money right at the 50 percent and then backing off Take a break. Mr. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights will be joining us shortly. So we'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay. 
Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, uh, Rich Anderson told me you, you just got back from Israel. That's true. I was there for about 10 days. Wow. On vacation? Well, I was on a Holy Land pilgrimage, walking in the footsteps of Jesus. Wow. That's totally awesome. Yeah, I, I've been there several times and, you know, go, I didn't go to do the pilgrimage because they wouldn't allow me to do that. Being Italian, I had to go to the one with Pancho's pilot. But uh, anyway, I do. I love the country because <laughs> it's it's so doggone safe. You know, they <laughs> everybody there carries a newsie. <laughs> anyway, that is let's true. talk about That's this. True. Uh, They've leveled the playing yeah. field. <laughs> yes, they sure have. Anyway, uh, behold the 2023 bull market, the mystery of mysteries. What are we looking at, Jeff? You know, uh, Larry, I've been surprised how excited people are about uh, this, this bull market this year. You know, there's been a lot of uh, fanfare about the NASDAQ, which is up, you know, 20 percent. But mm-hmm. if you take those top seven stocks out of the index, the other 493 stocks are actually negative for the year through the end of April. And in fact, we ran a uh, study looking at the NAS- or looking at the uh, S&P 500 equally weighted and we see that uh, it's only up 2.66% in the first four months of the year. That's the average for the for any um, start to a year. We looked back at data provided by your wow. Denny research, and uh, if we just add up the average return for January, February, March, and April, it's 2.6% going back to uh, 1928 on average. And uh, wow. we also decided, well, let's look at a little bit broader swath of stocks. We took the value line geometric, which is a very, very broad uh, group of stocks. I think 1,800 or 1,600 stocks equally weighted. That was up 2.59%. So the stock market's up 2.6%. It's been an average move for the first four months of the year. Nothing spectacular unless you own Tesla and NVIDIA and Apple and Microsoft. Yeah, those have been those have been the big ones. I saw that Microsoft actually made new highs today, which uh, uh, was sort of surprising considering the market had sold off so much yesterday. Let's take a look recovery at this next. Recovery high, yeah, not a new all time high. Yeah, oh sure, recovery high. Yeah, well, I I must remember I'm a futures trader. Anything past a week, I have no interest. <laughs> anyway, internals <laughs> uh, are, are getting a little negative here. You want to explain to the folks what you're watching? Absolutely. You know, we uh, we take the S&P 500 on an equally weighted basis and we gauge the market's breadth, the net advancers, advancers minus decliners. We also look at the momentum and the net advancing volume. And the thing that we've noticed recently, just using the five week moving average of net advancing issues, is that we put in a lower high uh, when we made that uh, April 18th high in the uh, S&P 500. And so that lower high to us suggests that there's a negative divergence in breadth. We also see the same thing occurring in momentum. Looking at the equally weighted S&P 500 index, the five-week RSI oscillator made a much lower high in April versus its January-February highs, and, and in fact is now trading below the median line. So that is a bearish regime. So we've got a bearish regime in market breadth. We've got a bearish regime and momentum. And then when we look at net advancing volumes, that's up volume divided by down volume. Um, we're at less than one right now. It's a 0.89. And the five-week moving average has actually made a much lower high recently at about three versus the, uh, uh, the high that it made on uh, February 2nd at nine. And so that, again, poses a negative divergence. And here's the thing. These negative divergences tend to occur at major turning points in the market. And uh, we think that we're there right now. Okay. Well, the market's acting like it uh, like it could be, that's for sure. Now, the next one we're going to be talking about is uh, tell the folks about the tail risk. Yeah. So um, there's something that the CBOE, the, uh, 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 the options uh, in uh, um, uh, uh, markets, uh, put together, and it's called the skew index. And the skew index basically um, measures the amount of uh, options that are that are betting on a black swan event. And so, tail risk, if you will, uh, is is growing and uh, very high right now relative to history. Um, to put it in, uh, in perspective, normal would be 100 on the index. 
we don't even see 100 listed on the on the right hand side, right? Because over the last year and change, uh, two years actually, uh, we haven't been anywhere near normal. In fact, we set a record high in uh, June of 2021. And while you know that that tail risk has been coming off, we had a cycle low back in November. Uh, at around 110, it's been rising pretty sharply. And since Silicon Valley Bank, uh, you know, was taken out last uh, uh, March, mid-March, we saw a big breakout in the SKU index above that downtrend. And that suggests that, um, you know, options traders are now betting more heavily on a black swan event, uh, possibly a, a, a government debt default or a major, major bank collapse um, or Whoa. potentially more systemic sort of banking uh, risk. But uh, today's action following the uh, First Republic takeover yesterday was a breakout to a new uh, recovery high in that, uh, in that SKU index, which suggests that tail risk is very high now and growing. Wow. That's really, uh, when, I, when I look at this stuff and I think about these folks that own this uh, stock was two hundred and thirty dollars in January of last year, and now it's worth a dollar seventeen this morning. I mean, sometime between two hundred and thirty and ten dollars, you'd think, say, gee, maybe something's wrong with the management. And the same thing with the <laughs> Silicon Valley Bank, and the same thing with the New York Signature Bank, and the, I mean, they're just one after another. And some of these Bitcoin things, I mean, my goodness, I mean, there's got to be a point where you can say, well, maybe something's not right with the picture, but uh, the picture in the U.S., they still love it, and I think that's a, that's a good thing. Let's take a look at one other one here, uh, Jeff, and then move <laughs> over just a second here. Uh, oh, Jeff, what did you, uh, of all the things that you saw in Israel, what did you like the best? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Where do I begin? Um, there's so many ancient ruins. I mean, we were in the city of Jericho, which is actually uh, in the West Bank, sure. and um, right right on the um, Jordan River. And it's the oldest city in the world. It's 7,000 years old. And some of the ruins that we saw there were just unbelievable. Uh, I mean, they, were, they blew my mind, I have to say. You've got to see yeah. it to believe it. Yeah, I know it's uh, it, it was really spectacular. I, I some of the when I when you <laughs> well anyway you have to you have to go there. Well, if you, you don't have to go there, but it is an incredible place to go. That's for sure. A great deal of history behind it, and uh, when you see it, 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 it if it you don't get if you don't get goosebumps, something's wrong. Go see a doctor because it it literally <laughs> really uh, it, it's 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 whether you're Christian or Jewish or uh, and I've been to Riyadh. I've been to you know. To, to see the place for Muslim where Muhammad was and everything, but nothing like what happened uh, with Israel. But I was, you know, Catholic, raised Catholic, so it's certainly special, especially at, uh, at the Temple on the Mount. Anyway, let's talk about the VIX index diverging positively again. Hey, after this break, we got to pay some bills. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We'll be right back with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and he's got a bearish outlook on the Elliott Wave, it's the worst since August. Tell the folks what you're looking at, Jeff. Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, we've been uh, counting the wave pattern really since, um, you know, the beginning of this bear market in January of uh, 2022. And we thought that uh, in, in um, uh, June of 2022, the market put in its uh, primary wave one uh, uh, low. And one of the reasons we think that is because um, that is the low for the Russell 2000. A lot of people don't realize that the Russell 2000 did not make a lower low in October. But believe it or not, the Russell 2000 is only 94 handles away from a two-year low right now. And so yeah. um, it continues to be one of the most bearish indexes. And so for that reason, we think that the S&P probably put in its primary wave one low in uh, June of 2022, which means that we rallied into that uh, August 16th high, and that was primary wave two. Well, since that time, we saw a decline into October, which we think is intermediate wave one of primary wave three down. And the rally, which again was an ABC three clear uh, – uh, wave rally into the February high was intermediate wave two. And since that time, we dropped in five waves again, which we think is minor wave one of intermediate wave three of primary wave three. And the rally since then fell short of that February 2nd high. And it again was three waves up very clear. It topped yesterday and reversed sharply lower. Uh, we believe a breakdown below 4,050 will confirm this. And uh, from that point, we expect the market to accelerate sharply lower, hard down into the late May 50-day cycle low, uh, which is slated to bottom somewhere between May 22nd and May 24th. And we think that that will carry the S&P 500 index to a new low for uh, the bear market. And uh, the plunge, Larry, could be significant. We think it could carry well down into the low 3,000s, possibly into the high 2,000s before we start to catch a bid. Yeah, well, they, when they move down, they sort of move down because fear is a greater emotion than greed, that's for sure. Uh, Jeff, I have no a doubt. question uh, on the Russell. What You understand fundamentals. I don't understand them at all, but why would the Russell index 
be the weakest? Do, do you have any thoughts on that? Someone's asked me that question, and my guess is it's a just smaller companies. That's I don't know. Is there a reasoning behind well, that? Well, that's true. Um, the two reasons. Number one, I think the the evidence is building for a recession this year, and smaller companies are going to be hit harder by the recession. But I would also say that the Russell 2000 has the highest um, exposure to banks and REITs, and okay. especially um, you know. Uh, commercial property uh, is really uh, an area of extreme risk. You may have heard that Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's partner, uh, recently pointed to uh, commercial real estate loans as being kind of the uh, the real um, uh, potential black hole in bank balance sheets. And that could be where uh, the, the next surprise uh, emerges from. But that's the uh-huh. problem with the Russell 2000. There's a lot of small cap banks. There's something like 4,000 banks in the U.S. And of the publicly traded banks, the vast majority of them are in the Russell 2000. Okay, that's a good enough answer for me. Let's move on to the next one, and we'll be uh, – boy, this goes fast. I I really enjoy the charts that you have, Jeff. I mean, it's really cool. Now, we got a time here for a little commercial, so let's just bring your newsletter up and uh, tell the folks uh, – it's up to twelve dollars a month, folks. I mean, wow, that's one hundred and forty-four dollars a year. If you don't get the one hundred and forty-four dollars in the first month, you're going to be surprised. This got this got more information in it than any newsletter I've ever seen. Go ahead, please give us a heads up. You know, Larry, we've been writing this. This will be our twenty-first uh, issue on Saturday, May sixth, which is the next uh, scheduled publication date. Uh, we do publish it once a month. It's about a twenty-page document. Tends to have about you know, 25 to 30 charts in there. We address top-down macroeconomic concerns. Uh, We look at various, um, you know, relationships within the market, and then we lay out our our forecast for the market. And we don't pull any punches, as you can imagine. There's a lot of opinions in there uh, that we make very, very clear what we think is going to happen. And, and, you know, based on the you know, the cover of last month, you can see that we're, we're not exactly bullish. We think the sharks are, are gunning for the bulls at this point, and they may be right on their heels. Uh, at this uh, juncture, you know, we think it's a really good value. We, you could sign up and get it delivered for free, but we only give you a free preview of the first four or five pages. And then after that, if you want to read the rest, uh, you can decide whether you want to pay $20 a month or you can save 40% by buying an annual uh, subscription, which is only $144. Uh, you know, and to your point, um, there's a lot of information packed in this over a 12-month period. And not to mention the fact that we also send our paid subscribers our um, a weekly top actionable trade idea every Wednesday. And it also has updated market analysis as well. So it kind of tells you how we're seeing the market evolve over the course of the month. And we give you a few trading ideas as well. And there's a few other perks for paid subscribers as well. Okay, repeat again, Jeff. Uh, let me let me get the uh, the f- first page up so the folks can get the uh, you know where you that, where they can reach you, and then you'll be able to tell the folks uh, your website information and then also your email address so that they can see all that together at the same time. And <laughs> unfortunately, I hit a blank page. <laughs> sure. Well, I'll just tell you that um, you can you can access the newsletter and, and you know subscribe to have it uh, delivered to your email box at hugeinsights.substack.com. And if you have any problems uh, you know, with that, you can also go to my website, which is uh, www.jwhinvestment.com, and there's a tab for the newsletter there as well. Or you can just follow us on Twitter, at alpha underscore insights, and we also have a link to the, to the uh, newsletter on that as well. So um, all three of those areas will get you to the newsletter if you want to take a closer look. And uh, we encourage you to do so. We're looking forward to publishing uh, the next issue on Saturday, May 6th. Listen, my friend, we'll have you on again in a couple of weeks. Uh, keep the bright light shining over there in Minneapolis and stay on the green side of the grass. You're a real, uh, a real gem. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. It's always no, it's a pleasure truth. being on your okay. show. You bet. It's a, it's a joy to have you here, that's for sure, folks. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Okay, let's get back to the nitty-gritty, and we are going to be talking about the crude oil, and let's see if we are still in the crude oil. I haven't seen anything different here recently, so the last price I'm showing is, uh, well, where is it? 
shut the front door and raise the rent. It is at uh, 7180. So it's actually held the low. Oh, my goodness. It missed the stop by two ticks. Holy moly, guacamole. Got stocks rallying good again. We were uh, almost, uh, we, well, I don't know if we're going to get unchanged on the day, but we've certainly made it back to the 38% retracement again, which in, in self uh, is usually a uh, very strong resistance. In fact, since we're doing that and it's happening as we speak, Let's just get the old chart up so everybody can be looking at the same thing. And we'll get it up here. Uh, not quite, but we're going to point from the high down to the low. And you're going to see there's our 382 retracement again. Only take me one second to bring this up, and this will tell us how much we're going to get. This market's been hit very badly, but again, the S&P stopped at the 61% retracement. The Dow Jones stopped at the 78% retracement, and it's rallied almost, well, it has rallied 300 points. Oh, no, excuse me, 250 points in the Dow Jones and uh, well over 34 points, uh, 35 points in the Dow Jones uh, S&P, and we're setting right at the... If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamental and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, there's a few minutes to go. I want to go through the Dow, uh, the crude oil trade one more time, folks. This is an ABCD pattern. This is a Gartley. You see, the 50% was hit. We rallied two grand. Now we're down here. We hit the 61% retracement. They have equal equal weighting, folks. You can see the A, B, C, D pattern coming in right here. So we've had a little bit of a rally right now. It's uh, in our favor. Uh, 
It's like like taking your sister to the dance. It's always fun, but the music might be different. But we're right at that level. The stop still remains at 71.38. Now, the next one I wanted to talk to you about, because that's probably going to be coming uh, very, very soon, most probably tomorrow, and that is the... the uh, there it is right here. Hold on. This is the natural gas for our good friend Steve. Always kind enough to call in. But we're going to take a look at it right here. Ship it over to Austin, Texas so he can take a look at it. But we are going to be down right here at the 61% retracement probably today, tonight, or tomorrow. We want to be watching it right there. This doesn't have the ABCD structure like the uh, crude oil does. But that is a place where if it hits that level... It could be it could be good it could be a good buy. It may be a bad buy, but one thing is you'll put a stop in and you won't have to worry about it at all. But we're very close. We're only three points away from that in the natural gas. There was your A B C D. You see, so we pulled back and well, that's gonna make this a one, three, five pattern. And they work about seventy percent of the time and boy when they're right, they're work look, you saw the one in the bonds. Shut the front door. That thing's up over $2,000 today. Well, boys and girls, we're going to see on the flip side tomorrow. We'll have Stan Harley as our guest. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.